Disclaimer. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Do not attempt this at home. Vitiated how to will not be responsible because you decided to be a cheap ass and not hire professional. On with the show. Get the carburetor to work because it didn't prime like it's supposed to, or whatever. So I'm changing the carburetor out. Got another one. First thing you're going to do, there's a little thing right here to push. You're going to want to push that. Ah. Takes two hands. Lift it up. Pull that out of the way. Do it like I do. There's that fucking yard somewhere. And you're going to want to remove these two screws. These two screws hold this intake in and the carburetor in. Once you get these two screws out, you disconnect this cable right here, like so. You pull it off. You put the other carburetor back on exactly the way this looks, the way you took it off. Tighten the screws back down. Make sure you put this back on first before you put the screws in, and then you're done. Oh, then you gotta prime it, and then there you go. I shouldn't have to explain this, but I'm going to anyway. On the um, carburetor, there's a gasket. And then with the kit, comes with two separate gaskets. You gotta figure out which one fits your carburetor and how it goes. You got the seal there, and then this one has one here, but I have two separate ones that came with my kit. So, I'm gonna put them on here like so, and then you're good to go. To remove the tank, to change out the lines and the filter, just remove these two screws. You can get the bit from Harbor Freight for them, but have you ever known me to really actually have what I'm supposed to have? <laughs> I might have that bit somewhere, but I ain't got it, so I'm using a flathead, but make sure you use a sharp not a pointy sharp, but like a flat edge sharp one. This is a um, like a Klein or a Southwire. It's an electrical one for an electrician, so it fits there pretty well. And you just undo the screws and pull everything out. And you disconnect these lines, pull them out, then you can change them out. When you're replacing the fuel lines for the weed eater, whatever hole the black one came out of, you gotta put back, but you gotta make the hole bigger because the line that you get is a lot bigger than what the hole initially is. And what you gotta do is you gotta cut it at an angle like that and start to feed it through. And then you gotta twist it either clockwise or counterclockwise until you get it in far enough into there to where you can pull it. Then once you pull it, you're gonna need to lube the hose up and push with one hand and pull with the other and kind of hold it like this and do it so that way it'll go through to the desired length. You got to do that with both hoses because the other hose is not that um, not that little either. So this is the little kit off Amazon. My particular kit came with two filters. I don't know if the, other, the one that was in there is any good, but since I'm doing one, I might as well do the other to figure out how to stop the bulb from messing up the way it's supposed to. Now all you do is put it back in there. And you shake it down in there. And when it touches, then you pull the excess out. You do almost the same as the black one as far as um, cutting the little point to it. But with this one, I didn't have to make the hole bigger. It just went in, it just took a little longer. As that this hose here ain't as thick as the black one. But when you pull this one, this is the, um, for the return line. This was inside the tank initially. So when you go to change the OEM one, this is in there, but you're gonna keep it 
because you're gonna pull this line back through, and then you're gonna push this till it gets to that hole, so that way you can push that little section right there where it's in into this hole, then that way it'll help hold it there. As you can see, there's a little bit of the black tip that I was showing you, and there it is inside there. Next thing you want to do is set the tank back into its bracket. That way it'll hold. And then all you're going to do is take and give yourself a little bit of a little bit of hose, enough feed, and you cut both of them to the length you need. And then you should be good to go after that. I got this kit already because I was doing the carburetor and I figured since I was doing the carburetor, I might as well do everything else. But with this, it, you see that you get the three bulbs and the two filters and the two gas kits for the carburetor and the fuel lines are really long to where you can use them three or four times. So just be mindful that you don't throw all the extra stuff away.